The lavish banquet hosted by Prince Mateen, where world-class cuisines tantalize the taste buds of the elite, where enchanting moments of dance and joy become viral sensations, and where the presence of over 5,000 high-profile leaders from around the world raises intriguing questions. Why does Prince Maiten receive such exceptional favor and attention? This gathering was not just a feast for the senses, but a display of global influence and connections. Join us as we explore the reasons behind this extraordinary event and the role of Prince Maiteen in the international arena. Don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty for more insights into the lavish lives of the world's elite. The reception ceremony with 5,000 guests the evening following their opulent wedding, marked by a 17-gun salute and a parade through the city in a Rolls-Royce Phantom 6, Prince Martin and his bride attended a royal banquet. This event was not just a celebration of their union, but a grand gesture of hospitality towards influential figures in their new roles. The couple entered the banquet radiant and hand in hand. Prince Martin, adorned in a ceremonial black and gold uniform displaying his achievements, was complimented by his wife in a stunning off-white gown, intricately embroidered with sequins. The new bride's outfit was crowned with a captivating diamond tiara over a long tull veil, symbolizing her royal status. Her ensemble was perfectly matched with pristine diamond, studded jewelry, including a statement necklace with a large pear-shaped diamond pendant and matching drop earrings. Seated beside his fourth son during the banquet, the King of Brunei welcomed high-ranking officials including the cabinet and Brunei's princes. The wedding, attended by 5,000 guests including senior members of Brunei's royal family and international dignitaries like the King and Queen of Bhutan, President of the Philippines, the King of Malaysia, the Prime Ministers of Singapore and Malaysia, and the President of Indonesia, showcased the prominence of the event. The banquet, held in the vast Istana Nurul Iman Palace, far surpassing the grandeur of France's Palace of Versailles or England's Buckingham Palace, was set in a room built from natural stones, primarily limestone and wood. Royal guests were greeted with golden chairs and tables, including gold utensils for the royal feast. The hall, adorned with gold carvings of birds and foliage, transported guests to a fairy tale world of kings, princes, princesses and swans from ancient tales. The addition of fresh flowers in shades of white and pink only enhanced the room's beauty. The British High Commissioner to Brunei, John Viago, one of the banquet's guests, shared the menu and images of the dishes on his social media, praising the delicious food and thanking the Brunei royal family, chefs and palace staff. In the cheerful atmosphere of the wedding, the bride and groom shared a memorable moment as they danced with the leaders. The participation of the leaders not only made the celebration more enjoyable, but also showed their closeness and friendliness with the new lead couple. This moment was not just a joy for the bride and groom, but became a beautiful memory for all attendees. To cater to the thousands of guests, including many politicians and royals from around the world, the Brunei royal family prepared an extravagant 15-course wedding menu featuring luxurious and costly ingredients typical of noble feasts prepared in traditional Brunei flavors. The menu started with premium seafood dishes like Alaska king crab salad with Iranian caviar, venison herb soup with mole mushrooms and lobster tail mixed with papaya salad, Iranian caviar, known as the world's most expensive cooking ingredient and likened to black diamonds, was a highlight. The menu also included dishes showcasing Brunei's culinary heritage blended with Asian and European flavors, such as Wagyu beef cooked with truffle and traditional persic sauce, grilled turbo with pickled vegetables, Malaysian-style Peranakan chicken, basmati rice with saffron, lamb shank with keratuk sauce, spicy shrimp, mixed vegetables with coconut milk, and braised pineapple. The dessert course was as elaborate as the rest, featuring chocolate honeycomb cake, nut-filled candies, and a selection of tea and coffee. The dishes were intricately presented from the starters to the main courses and desserts. The portions were thoughtfully sized to allow guests to enjoy the entire menu without feeling overwhelmed. Given the length of the menu and the variety of ingredients, a palate cleanser of mango ice cream with bird's nest was served midway. 
This is a customary practice in high-end dining to cleanse the palate day between courses, preventing flavor confusion. This banquet was a true testament to the grandeur and sophistication expected of a royal event, meticulously planned to provide an unforgettable experience for all in attendance. The preferential treatment towards Prince Mateen. Prince Mateen's wedding was not just a lavish affair. It was a global event hosting one of the most impressive guest lists in the world. This is largely due to Prince Mateen's and his father, the Sultan of Brunier's extensive international travel in the past year. These trips were not merely diplomatic missions. They were opportunities for the Prince to build and strengthen relationships with world leaders. This explains the large number of distinguished guests from around the globe at his wedding, reflecting the Prince's favored status and influence in the international community. In recent times, Maitin has become more prominent on the political stage, often representing his father at global political events. In 2015, he made his presence felt at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Malta, where he spoke about terrorism and called for governments to address its root causes. By 2018, Prince Maiten was accompanying Sultan Hassan al-Bolkia in bilateral meetings with Jordanian leaders and attending the 12th Asia-Europe meeting in Brussels, Belgium. He also joined his father at the enthronement of Emperor Naruhito of Japan in October 2019 and at the ASEAN summits in Thailand in 2019 and Cambodia in 2022. In March, Prince Maitin represented the Brunei royal family at the U.S. Navy's Special Warfare Command in Coronado, California, to discuss potential future cooperation areas. In April and June, the father-son duo visited Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Bahrain, and Australia. The Sultan and Prince Maitin also made time to attend the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan, the coronation of King Charles III, and the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. In September, the royal duo attended the 43rd Azen Summit's opening ceremony and plenary session at the Jakarta Convention Center, Indonesia. Following this, Prince Abdul Mateen visited Singapore as a Lee Kuan Yew Exchange Fellow, an initiative inviting distinguished individuals for high-level visits to Singapore, reinforcing the strong bilateral relations between Singapore and Brunei. On October 2nd, they were received by Laos President Thonglaun Sisorlith during a state visit to commemorate 30 years of diplomatic relations between Brunei and Laos. This visit marked the potential establishment of significant collaborations between the two countries. Just a week later, they arrived in Paris for a two-day official visit to the French Republic, invited by President Emmanuel Macron. This visit highlighted the extensive cooperation between Brunei and France in various sectors since the establishment of diplomatic relations in May 1984. In December, Prince Maiten and his father traveled to Japan to attend the commemorative summit for the 50th year of Asian-Japan friendship and cooperation, further cementing Brunei's role and relations on the global stage. These relationships not only enhance Brunei's global presence, but also raise Prince Maiten's profile as a key representative of his nation. Over the years, Prince Maiten has grown into a prominent figure on the political stage, often stepping in for the Sultan at major international events. His involvement in significant discussions and summits reflects his capability and dedication to his royal duties, reinforcing his status as a respected figure both domestically and internationally. As a member of the royal family, Prince Maitin holds a cultural and symbolic significance in Brunei. His actions and appearances carry weight in terms of national pride and heritage, making his personal milestones, like his wedding, matters of national interest. Being a prince is not an easy task. It demands a balance of public responsibilities and personal commitment to the nation's welfare and image. Prince Maitin's wedding, celebrated with such grandeur and attended by a multitude of global figures, was not just a personal joy, but a reflection of the strong relationships and respect he has garnered over the years. It's a testament to the hard work and dedication behind his role as a prince and the importance placed on royal events as celebrations not just for the family, but for the nation and its international partners. Don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty for more captivating tales of glamour, tradition and the timeless stories behind them.